Hi, my name is Melissa Miller and last year I matriculated from Rhenish Girls High School, which is in Stellenbosch in the Western Cape. This year I'm studying mechatronic engineering at the University of Stellenbosch. So I've always had this firm belief that you have to pursue what you're passionate about. And for me, this primarily lies in math and science. I mean, for the longest time, I've always just had this way with numbers and I thoroughly enjoy working with numbers. So I remember when I was younger and my dad used to drive me to school, he used to ask me what we call train sums, which is basically just a long string of sums that I would have to memorize and recite. And I found this an enjoyable way to pass time in traffic. But there's always been this internal debate inside of me about whether I should be studying engineering or medicine, and I had this fear that one day I would have to choose which degree I valued studying more. Luckily for me, I found the perfect loophole to my dilemma. So firstly, you may ask why not just choose one field of study? Well, simply put, I think that the collaboration across different fields provides unique and special opportunities to break the boundaries of research. I want to study engineering because I find the practical nature of Developing the skills to see a problem and then directly address the problem particularly intriguing. So I want to address real world problems such as climate change by developing energy efficient technologies and just to increase global connectivity through digital technologies. I find the interdisciplinary nature of mechatronic engineering especially interesting because I'll be at the forefront of developing these innovative technologies. But I've always had this fear that by pursuing a purely engineering degree, there will be a side of me that is neglected. So I've always had this innate desire to help people. And I mean, studying medicine was an option on my plate for the longest time, which I decided not to pursue in the end. But this brings me to the loophole that I was speaking about earlier. So in the last year or so, I've lost an uncle and a very close family friend to cancer. And last year, my mom was in the hospital um, due to a flare-up of her rheumatoid arthritis. And I found that my coping mechanism during this time was doing as much research as possible about these various diseases because I found co comfort in knowing exactly what was going on inside of their bodies. And this is the medical side of me that is just waiting to be explored. And this brings me to my 10-year plan. So after I graduate as a mechatronic engineer, I want to pursue a degree in biomedical engineering. I'm particularly interested in the regenerative medicine and tissue engineering. So as we all know, our world is rapidly advancing and it's always changing. And I think that bringing an engineering perspective to the medical field is amazing and so exciting. I mean, I'm literally getting goosebumps just thinking about it. And I can't wait to see... Why, where it will take me if I integrate my two biggest passions of medicine and engineering and I want to see how I can contribute through breaking the boundaries of research and contribute to the bigger picture.